Our big story tonight, the desperate effort to rescue 17 missionaries from Haiti. A gang kidnapped them over the weekend. The pastor from their church in Oceana County confirmed with us today five of the hostages are from West Michigan. We're told one adult and four children from Hart are among those being held. The gang is demanding a ransom of $17 million, $1 million for each kidnapping victim. The FBI is actively involved in trying to get them released. The gang known as the 400 Moazo captured the group near Haiti's capital, Port-au-Prince. It's believed they are responsible for 80% of the kidnappings in Haiti. 13 on your side's Charlie Tinker just returned from Oceana County is in our information center now with reaction from Hart. Yeah, most told me they were keeping the five hostages in their prayers, but wouldn't say anything more out of uh, some fear they could disrupt ongoing negotiations with the government. We did learn from the aid organization they were with. The family was involved in relief work focused on the children of Haiti. I was shocked. Thoughts and prayers abound in the tight-knit city of Hart. Sarah, who only wanted to provide her first name, tells me it's rare the world's evils hit so close to this small town, USA. I mean, you never expect to hear stuff like that in your area. It kind of makes it real more than just hearing about it. And so she was stunned to learn five members of another nearby church had been kidnapped by a gang and were being held for ransom against their will half a world away. Pastor Ron Marks confirmed five members of the Hart Dunkard Brethren Congregation were among the 17 hostages. According to a statement from Christian Aid Ministries, the group that organizes these mission trips, the five from Hart, all members of the same family, had been working to respond to the overwhelming need in disaster-stricken Haiti. The gang of kidnappers, Cam said, abducted them on their way from an orphanage. They, they went on their lives, according to their faith. They were called to go down there and uh, to do a job, to do several uh, uh, infrastructure projects. One of them I know was building a school. And it's just devastating to see that after they complete that, that to themselves and their own children are, are now taken hostage. The Oceana County Republican Chair Andrew Seabold issued this plea on social media, urging the White House to, quote, exert itself to the utmost. These are good people, good Americans, doing good work for others in need. We'll see it on the news, and it always happens somewhere else. And um, you just never think that, that it could happen to uh, anyone here. Um, but, but this time it has struck home. As the desperate situation continues to evolve thousands of miles away, the church community here puts its faith in God and holds its breath for a miracle. We've been praying for them every day, and um, I guess one thing would be to keep trusting in God and keep him in your prayers. The best outcome that we can have is to bring them home safely, all of them, and as quickly as possible. Now, I said no, kidnappings in Haiti are up dramatically. There have been at least 328 kidnappings in 2021. That's up from 234 last year. Julia? Charlie, thank you. Haiti is the poorest country in the Western Hemisphere, and matters were recently made worse by the assassination of the country's president and a devastating earthquake. Cooley Law Professor Michael McDaniel is a retired Brigadier General, and he says the instability makes Haiti more dangerous than usual. He also told us he is certain the U.S. will not pay the ransom. If we do so, um, then we're going to uh, have an increase in the number of U.S. citizens abroad who would be kidnapped. McDaniel says based on his experience, negotiations to free the hostages could take a while. Today, the White House refused to talk about efforts to free them, saying it is not in the best interest of the hostages. Short-term mission trips like the one in Haiti began in the 1960s. They grew in popularity in the 1980s and 90s. Today, it's estimated 2 million Americans participate in short-term mission trips every year. Because of the kidnappings and other crimes, the U.S. Department of State has issued a level of four travel advisory for Haiti. That means do not travel there.